Hi everyone, and welcome back to Map Maven Methods. This month we're going to pick up where we left off last month with me briefly showing you uh, another way to find open data online. And we'll probably be doing this next month as well. Uh, this will be a very short video because I'm pretty much just showing you around OpenStreetMap, which is a great resource for really anything related to mapping and especially for finding data. And without going into too much detail about what OpenStreetMap is, uh, Probably the best way to characterize it is actually what they refer to themselves as, which is the Wikipedia of maps, uh, somewhat facetiously. But they pretty much are. I mean, it's basically a giant map that anyone can contribute to, which is different from, say, Google Maps, which is created by Google. Um, so you, if you wanted to, could go trace your house and upload it into OpenStreetMap, and anyone in the world who zooms into your street would see that footprint on there. Uh, with all that data having been uploaded, uh, you also sometimes want to take it off of OpenStreetMap and download it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I've typed in OpenStreetMap on Google, and I could take you to the site, but honestly, if you just click export, you will get to where we're trying to go anyways. So there's quite a bit here, and we'll t cover some of it in future, uh, future lessons. But right now, I'm literally just showing you where in OpenStreetMap to get to uh, some of the easier uh, data to work with. And data is perfect for using in Map Maven. So if you happen to live in a city or a metro area like most people do in the world, you'll wanna click Metro Extract and you can zoom to any city and you'll see that in most cases the, the areas go far beyond just the city itself and quite a ways out in the suburbs and in some cases even rural areas. Um, but there's a whole list, pretty much any major city in the world is on there. And I'll just zoom in. And let's do Los Angeles. So I can click on Los Angeles. And then you'll see all sorts of stuff that I can download. So if I download this, the shape file, which is a pretty big one because there's a lot on there, it's going to have all sorts of stuff on there. Roads, uh, city boundaries and uh, and more so I would encourage you to download that at some point and just kind of look around and get a feel for it uh, an even simpler one would be to just download the coastline shape file um, and and uh, go ahead and put that in map even as well um, so this is where you'd want to go I'm not going to download it right now because uh, it wouldn't make you sit around and watch me wait for something to load <laughs> but this is how you get there and again you go to openstreetmap.com I, I believe it's .com. It might be .org, forgive me. Um, and then hit that uh, export link and then go to Metro Extracts and a whole lot of the world has data. Obviously not everywhere. There's a lot left out in the rural area. But, uh, 